Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I have a video using some of the new Whimsy Stamps products. I created another video to share because it's Halloween and we need all the Halloween inspiration. <laughs> Here is a look at the products we're going to be using to create this card. So I have a piece of gray cardstock that I trimmed down to fit inside of the new slimline embossing folder called Bats Galore and I ran it through my die cutting machine to create the impression. I'm taking my black soot distress oxide and gently just kind of scraping my ink pad across my paper so those bats will pick up that color and it won't get too much onto the debossed area of my paper. So I really want those bats to look black on my gray paper. And of course we need to add some splatter to our background so I'm using some silks in whipped cream, black licorice, and the sparkle silk which I'm desperately trying to get out of the bottle. I'm going to set that aside to dry and clean up my hands and workstation a bit so I don't get black ink everywhere. <laughs> so now for our stamping we're going to be using Blackout by Ink on 3. They're black ink which is compatible with all kinds of mediums and I'm going to be using my Spectrum Noir Illustrator marker. So stamping these up onto some Express It cardstock. This is a really great cardstock if you're using alcohol markers. I stamp it twice and use my little helper here to make sure I have nice crisp images and I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to leave in a little bit of my coloring just to show you what I used and the colors are on the screen if you like to see and try this yourself using these same colors. I'm going to be coloring in my candy bucket, my pumpkin in as much of an orangey color as I can with my GYs and my ORs and just trying to create a fun little candy bucket that looks like one that I probably would have had growing up that um, probably had the handle break because honestly these buckets were cheap and you were trying to get all the candy and that candy would get heavy. <laughs> so I also brought in a burnt orange just to really add the shadow and some ice gray to color in his eyes and mouth. Now the candy I just used some random colors and yes I totally colored in a carrot. I don't know why. Maybe I was thinking Easter candy. I tried to make it look like jelly beans inside of my weird carrot candy. For my candy corn, the top is white, the middle is orange, and the bottom is yellow. So just using some markers to color that in. And I use the same color to create some shadow around my orange. So very simple coloring for the orange and yellow. And then using that ice gray again to color in his hands and feet. For this candy, I'm going to create it using purple and green, trying to bring in as many Halloween looking colors combinations as I can. So I wanted to create one with these colors as well. So I'm going to use purple for the outside of the candy and green more for the face. I thought this pink candy looked kind of like bubble gum or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to color in candy in some fun colors. So I'm using some light pink colors to color that one in. And then I started to color in one of the lollipops. I wanted it to look like a scarecrow and it was too fleshy toned and it kind of creeped me out. So we're going to skip the lollipops for this card. For the last one, I thought it'd be fun to create a little rainbow onto my packaging and then used a lighter gray to just add shadow for the white part of the packaging and blending that out with a blender pen. I went ahead and fussy cut these out. You can also use a scan and cut but it honestly didn't take too long to cut these out. I want my bats to be a background behind my windows. I'm gonna be using the Peekaboo Window 3 die from Whimsy Stamps, and I'm going to die cut it out of some of the new vintage Halloween paper packs. So I'm playing around with the layout. I know I wanna use my smaller candies on the top and have my larger pieces on the bottom with a sentiment. And I just wanna make sure that that embossed piece is going to fit behind my windows and it does it very snug fit but it does I went through the paper pack and decided to use this green and black for my 
card. So I'm going to trim down that embossed piece so that way it fits behind those windows. And I'm going to adhere this directly to my card base. I have an A2 card base and I've already scored it, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I used some adhesive behind my embossed paper, so I started off with a quarter inch double-sided adhesive and then used some wet glue to give myself wiggle room to make sure that I have it where I want it, the center of my card base, because like I said, it's a very snug fit behind those windows. So now I'm going to use some foam strips to adhere my window die cut base down. I'm just going anywhere where there's a paper and pulling off all that release paper and centering it to my card base, making sure that I don't have any white peeking through my windows. So now that my card base is done, we can start adhering on my little candies. I am putting the smaller ones inside of the windows and just using some foam squares to pop those up. So I have my little green and purple candy on the right. I'm going to go ahead and pop up my bubble gum on the left and that rainbow in the middle. I stamped the sentiment I want candy there is like a little eyeball above the eye but I'm going for cute candy here so I just fussy cut around my sentiment and uh, remove the eyeball from my sentiment I want it to go in the middle with my candy kind of around it so I put some foam squares behind my bucket of candy and placed it down. I'm putting some now behind my cute little candy corn and my sentiment and I'm just going to before I peel off and stick down and make sure I'm happy with the placement. So I am pretty happy with how it's looking so I can go ahead and pull off that release paper and I'm going to adhere my sentiment down. And then I'll pull off the release paper behind my candy corn and place him to the left, kind of hugging that sentiment a bit. And I'm going to add some bling. This is from the Creepy Sparklets pack. It's by Buttons Galore and More, but you can get it on the Whimsy stamp store. And I'm just pulling out some of these really pretty gems and I'm also going to pull out some of these small orange sequins and I'm going to just scatter them around the card and then I will use a jewel picker and some wet glue to adhere those down. Now of course I didn't want to waste those cute little candy corns that I colored so I'm going to just glue those down using some wet glue on the inside of the card and just bringing in some of that candy from the out to the inside. Here is a final look at the card. I hope you enjoyed this process. If you did, I hope you'll click that like button. You can see everything that I use down in the description box below. And if you're new, I hope I've inspired you to subscribe and come back. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.